While much attention has been focused recently on the F-35 and F-15X, not much has been given to the U.S. Air Force's premier air superiority fighter, the F-22 Raptor. While the Raptor was one of the most advanced aircraft in the world when it entered service in the early 2000s, sensor, radar, and datalink technology have all advanced since then. The Raptor has received relatively few upgrades compared to legacy fourth-generation F-15 and F-16 aircraft and now is significantly outdated in some ways. For example, F-16, F-15, and F-A-18 are all equipped with the JHMCS missile queuing technology, which allows a pilot to lock onto an aircraft just by looking at it. The F-22 currently does not have this capability. The USAF, until now, has been largely pursuing a strategy of upgrading the F-22 via software, allowing the F-22 to more effectively use sensors it already has while incorporating minor hardware upgrades to allow for the integration of new weapons. But is this strategy sustainable as radars and electro-optical sensors get more powerful and smaller? The U.S. Air Force aims to pair its fighter fleet to just four types, and the F-22 Raptor won't be among them, the service's top general said Wednesday. Those four will be the F-35, F-15X, F-16, and the next-generation Air Dominance, or NGAD, fighter, General C.Q. Brown, Air Force Chief of Staff, said at a McAleese and Associates virtual conference. Brown said the fighter makeup is really a 4 plus 1, because we're going to have the A-10 for a while as we rewing the venerable Warthog to extend its service life into the 2030s. The F-22 will be replaced by the Gadget, which will fly alongside the F-35, which will be the cornerstone, the F-15X as we come in, and then we'll have F-16 for a while as well, Brown said. The Air Force currently has 186 F-22, according to a Heritage Foundation count in November. They are just 12 years old on average, Heritage reported, making the type among the youngest in the fleet. But the F-22 has faced low mission capability rates, in part due to structural upgrades that often take multiple aircraft offline. Brown said the Air Force is determining the right mix of fighters through an internal tactical air study that all of the services are participating in, to look across the board, at all of our combat aircraft, our attack, our fighter portfolio. I'm really looking for a window of options, because the facts and assumptions based on a threat will change over time, he said. But I want to get us shaped in a direction, because right now we have seven fighter fleets. Okay. My intent is to get down to about four.